So, what is the biggest risk that I see in the digital asset space? Well, I see a bubble. Not necessarily a valuation bubble though. This is an, a risk bubble, an IP risk bubble. You see, due to the roots of crypto and its cypherpunk origins, the traditional business practices of intellectual property and the risks and opportunities born in and by proper management of intellectual property have been ignored. May I even say eschewed. That's cool when I mean, it's a hobby, a white paper, uh, a little cold, but now you have hundreds of billions, if not trillions of dollars of assets involved. And now you're talking some real money. Okay, you have institutional investors putting capital in and expecting a real return out. Unfortunately, a lot of these institutional investors seem to have behaved, seem to have behaved as if the regular rules of business, finance, due diligence, valuation don't apply. And so you have a very small handful of those who follow the traditional routes of securing intellectual property and uh, claiming ownership of it through patents, through trademarks, through copyrights, and trade secrets. And they will most likely end up controlling an outsized portion of the industry. Now, whether this sounds good to you or bad to you is actually less relevant because you can be one of those people or the persons who you favor can be one of those people. Simply act accordingly. Okay, but do not hate those who simply did their job. Now, you have what I see is almost an entire industry ignoring the intellectual property uh, upcoming debacle. Okay, and you're not going to change capitalism in the U.S. You're not going to change the way the laws work in the U.S. Even if you tried and succeeded, it will take a long time. What you need to do is, in my humble opinion, is to simply... Um, be diligent, do due diligence, proper risk management, look before you reap. And when somebody owns something that you're building your business on, you be sure to partner with them, license them, or build a different business. Now, since many people don't see things that way, either I am wrong, or there's going to be a lot of hurt feelings, a lot of bus bubbles coming forward. You know, I think exchanges are overvalued because they've been collecting undeserved rents for some time now, almost since inception. And when certain property, intellectual property holders do exercise their rights, these rents will now longer, no longer be able to be collected by exchanges. They will have to pay for the use of the property that they're utilizing, and they will have to pay these rents to the actual property holders versus collecting them themselves. Which means, if I am correct, Almost all the cryptocurrency exchanges that do business in the large um, developed jurisdictions, economically developed jurisdictions, have their um, valuations overinflated due to the fact that the expenses are um, under considered or not considered at all. So we'll see if I'm right, okay? For all you guys and gals out there that trade Ethereum and Solana and Ripple and um, XYZ, these other coins, all coins, etc., and use other methods, you have to make sure, okay, that you've done your due diligence. So, I've been wrong before, and I could be wrong now, but conversely, I've been right before, and I've been right a lot, especially with big terms. So, we shall see.